Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. So yesterday I had uploaded a video in which I had discussed about the chapter wise analysis of chap or chapter wise weightage when it comes to the chemistry part of your KCD 2023 exam. So based on the comment section of that video wherein there were many people who were asking me to just upload the same kind of analysis for the physics and maths part of it. So I just thought of uploading the same cause there are already um, uh, very less days left for your upcoming KCD 2023 exam and now if I delay this then that will be a problem for all of you guys. So I thought of making this video and this video will be based upon the maths part of it. So the mathematics part of it which is a highly contrasting thing. Some people like it a lot whereas some people are just out of it. They kind of hate mathematics. So I was that kind of a person who was in the middle. I used to love mathematics when it comes to some chapters but <laughs> some chapters are seriously very annoying. But yeah one thing uh, which I have to tell you here is that Mathematics is the determining part. Okay, so physics and chemistry is common for all the students. So those uh, that thing will be done okay. But when it comes to mathematics, when people uh, like me who are interested in engineering, for you people, this mathematics becomes really important. And mathematics is a scoring thing too. So when you know certain formulas and when you just know how to approach the problem, then you will be sorted and then you will be getting a decent marks which will definitely help you score high. Yeah, before moving on to the chapter wise uh, weighted chart and analyzing it, I would suggest you all to subscribe to my channel immediately because I will be uploading many videos regarding what books you have to prefer in these 20 days and how did I prepare, how did I tackle these last 20 days and what helped me reach that uh, below 2.5k mark and also I have scored a rank of 2233 in my KCD 2022 and uh, with that comes a lot of experience of how to do how to do things and how to take things forward in this last 20 days. So I'm planning of uploading all these videos uh, as soon as possible. So to never miss out on that whenever I upload to get a notification click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be the one who will be notified as soon as I upload any kind of video guys. Yeah with that note let's start this video. So the thing which is uh, displayed in your screen is the chapter wise analysis or chapter wise weightage distribution of the questions which come in KCET in the 10 years from starting from 2010 to 2019. So this is the trend guys actually. So here uh, one thing which you have to note is that when it comes to 2017, 18 and 19 so this is the trend which is going on and the same thing has been repeated from 2022 also. So uh, in the mathematics is a subject wherein you just require smart work in order to tackle guys. So you don't need to solve all the problems of all the chapters in order to score well. Uh, just go through uh, important chapters. When I see this chart, one chapter which is taking my attention is Matrix and Determinants, guys. Yes, guys, this is highly scoring. I would like to suggest you all to just finish off this today itself if you haven't done it because this takes a very less time and in the same way it contains a lot of weightage. So Matrix and Determinants, the multiplication of Matrix and types of matrices, adjacent of Matrix, Transpose, these things you can just deal it off in around two hours. Uh, I guess so then when it comes to determinant solving the determinant and solving the uh, solutions of a given uh, expression or an equation so these things come under determinants and matrix and trust me guys this chapter you can just cover it off in two and a half hours but it is highly worth it because it contains a high weightage of around seven and six marks in 2018 and 2019 respectively so matrix and determinants is one thing that you have to keep in mind another easy chapter which is uh, striking my mind is set theory and function you can go through it around four and five questions are asked in 2018 and 2019 even set theory and functions are uh, pretty easy chapters guys even you may know it so when it comes to sets you have to understand what is a power set universal set simple problems will be there so there will be a set and you have to identify about the uh, subsets and all so that is uh, in that uh, if you ask me then the number of subsets possible for an uh, for a set which contains n elements so this is a question which i had got i guess if i'm not wrong yeah when it comes to functions, if you understand what are one one and many one functions, on to and into functions, then you will be sorted guys. Some graphs you just go through and just go to the previous year questions and solve uh, the questions which have come from this set theory and functions part. So then you will be sorted. See if you do these two, then according to 2018 and 19 papers, you have done already around uh, 11 to 12 marks. So 11 to 12 marks are already in your bunch just with around 3 4 to 5 hours if you just sit in diligently and if you prepare, then these two chapters will be done forever. And then another chapter which uh, takes my attention here is 3D and coordinate geometry. Yes guys this vectors part and 3D geometry contains around 4 plus 4, 8 marks in the uh, 3 consecutive years which makes it a must read guys. So vectors when it comes to vectors you have to understand what is dot product, cross product and how to calculate those and the simple questions will be there guys trust me this vectors and 3D 
you will be getting simple problems which you can easily sail through if you know certain formulas <laughs> yeah now i hope you are sorted with sets and matrices and this vectors and 3d so now around 20 marks are in your pocket so almost one third of the paper is done when you deal these three chapters so this is what i call smart work guys so just now uh, when some people just waste their time in uh, chapters like progression and mathematical induction wherein just around one to two uh, questions are asked hardly then those people just fail to solve the questions which come from this matrix and determinants part which will be so so easy so that is why i'm stressing upon this part of doing smart work right now when you have very less time this time is as I said earlier in the, my previous video also when I have discussed uh, the chemistry part of it, you can just check it through here in the info card. Yeah. Uh, in this time when there are very less uh, days left, the smart work comes into picture and that person who does smart work will get an edge over the person who does hard work. Because the time when the time is very less, I will suggest, suggest you strongly to just uh, behold yourself to that uh, previous year questions and the NCRT part of it and just if you know the formulas then you are sorted guys. Yeah, then uh, another chapter which uh, I think you can do is that uh, the measurement of angles, trigonometric functions and trigno inverse trigonometric functions. So inverse trigonometric functions is a very easy chapter when it comes to it, uh, it will be uh, containing things such as the domain and range of certain uh, inverse trigonometric functions and you should be knowing their derivative and this is a simple thing you can just delete off in around two to three hours so around eight hours of your work will get you around 25 or 30 marks so that is what I am stressing here. Yeah, and then uh, in the end, I see chapters like uh, limits, continuity and differentiability and applications of derivatives. So in applications of derivatives, you may know that you may get questions regarding uh, where you were problems, where you apply things and maxima, minima questions. So all these chapters are mainly based upon the differentiation thing, which is really important. So if you don't know differentiation, then start it off numb itself and you finish off course. When you deal differentiation, the limits part also will be done because every uh, difficult limit, you just apply L hospital rule and just you sail through the problem. And then when it comes to applications for derivatives also, the maxima minima thing and everything just require that basic knowledge of the differentiation. So the certain formulas are there, just go through them. And then when it comes to integration, it contains around six to eight marks. So when including uh, area, area bounded by a uh, graph and then when it including the differential equation part, integration also contains a decent weightage of 10 marks. Now, if you analyze what I said in these five minutes, around 40 marks are done guys. Yes, guys, you heard it right for some six to seven chapters and some six to seven chapters of hard work. When you put in hard work on these chapters, you have you are done you are sorted with around 40 marks which is a high thing i had personally scored uh, only 26 i had managed to score only 26 in my kct exam in 2022 uh, mathematics was not that good for me because i struggled in time management i'll be coming up with videos uh, based on the time management too in your exam so before that you just get ready with these things with high weightage chapters solve the pyqs and uh, make yourself confident because your confidence plays a major role there. And then there are other chapters like probability also which contain 5 marks weighted. So even th this becomes really important. So probability it comes uh, when it comes to probability it is uh, total probability theorem, conditional probability and the Bayes theorem. Uh, from Bayes theorem almost one question is definitely fixed in every year as uh, according to my knowledge. So Bayes theorem let, uh, let it take some time and just have a greater hold on this because there are repeated questions on this guys. So I just dealt off high weightage chapters but other chapters are equally important. But the thing is when you make your priority list of how to prepare for mathematics, I will suggest you to just go through the high priority chapters which I listed out in this video first and then come to the chapters which contain very less weightage. So this will put you in a good position and in a, it will give you a lot of confidence to face your mathematics exam. And in the same way, I'll be coming up with a video in which I'll discuss the physics part of it also. So uh, as I said earlier, subscribe to our channel to, uh, to stay tuned so that you'll never miss out this any uh, video I upload in my channel. So I enjoyed a lot while sharing this uh, mathematics part of the thing uh, with you. So if you did the same, then immediately click on the like button so that that will give me some motivation to upload uh, the same kind of videos in the coming future. If you have any doubts regarding anything when it comes to KCT 2023 exam, it may be regarding strategies, it may be regarding chapters feel free to put it on the comment section guys or else contact me personally itself i am always available for you through my instagram handle or else uh, through the telegram group which we have created i mean our community are there so even there you'll get many people who have scored better than me in kct so that is why i would recommend you to join the telegram group too so thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye